What's up, what's up? Uh, we'll break down more of this on the show later. But I want to talk about a lot of the comments where people are calling other people simps when it comes to the Adrian Broner and Alicia Bumgarner situation. Now I'm down in Texas where that's where they really started using the word simp. And I made sure I asked some people about it to break it down. Number one, in this situation, Adrian Broner is volunteering other men's history. They have not volunteered their history to the public. He just volunteered it for them. That's a problem. <laughs> that ain't got nothing to do with simp. That's a dude who run his damn mouth too much. See, a simp is somebody, like when Stephen A. Smith will call out these athletes saying, you need to do this, you need to treat a woman good. Then it comes out the whole allegation against the athlete was a 100% lie. And then when the athlete's innocent, Stephen A. Smith don't go on a, a tangent about, oh, uh, I'm so sorry, I, I, I accused y'all brothers before y'all was even guilty. Or somebody who got four or five baby daddies and still add no more and one extra from one that baby daddy while living off the other three baby daddies with her new boyfriend and enabling that shit. That's some simp stuff. Enabling women's bad behavior. Now, if Alicia Bumgarner or Alicia Bumgarner had a husband and she cheated on him and she was trying to get him for all his money and A.B. brought this up, then I would look at it different because it's like, hold up, you cheating on a man? And now you're trying to get half of his money? In addition to that, uh, you you talking bad about the guy? That's when you be like, now nah, that's simp behavior when you're enabling a chick to do a dude dirty. This situation is, allegedly she slept with all these boxers, but none of these male boxers themselves said anything about it. Agent Broner just got on the internet and volunteered all the information. And to me, if Montana Love, <laughs> if Montana Love or any of them dudes were at the WBC convention and they girl look up at them and she's going to be like, mm-hmm, I know what that shit was about. When before she had no idea if it's true. We, we are yet to see if it's true. Uh, I'm sure everybody thought it was funny. I'm sure everybody opened their mouth and was jaw dropped like, wow. But watch how y'all use that word simp. Simp is for a dude enabling a broad to do shit she wouldn't, she shouldn't do, I should say. Like fucking a man over, creating problems in society, wanting to save a chick that ain't shit, that knows she gonna go out and cheat, trying to, you know, make a hoe a housewife. As far as I know, Alicia Bumgarner was single at the time, and these quote-unquote other boxes were single at the time. And they kept it amongst each other. They didn't bring it, they didn't tell everybody about it. We just found out about it yesterday or two days ago, whenever it was brought up, when you know who brought it up. But I want to end this on a kind of serious note. As of right now, Adrian Broner has burnt a lot of bridges. And as funny as it is, you know, maybe he'll end up being the Jaguar right of boxing and do a tell-all, expose all thing. Maybe that's how he'll make money. But as of right now, I don't know if Bill Haney, if Ryan Garcia ain't got his shit together by the fight time, I don't know if Bill and Devin Haney will add him to the card or this is a step for them to say, nah, we ain't rocking with you no more. And right now we know AB has only fought once under Don King and he was supposed to fight twice. And he hasn't been in shape for a while and he doesn't look like he used to look. And... I said this many years ago. He's going to wake up one day and be old, 40, or pushing 40, and nobody's going to be checking for him. And right now, it seems like the only thing AB is getting attention for is being an internet troll, not being in the boxing ring. And all these dudes that enable him and cheer him on, they won't spend $50 on this fight, but they'll like and they'll cheer on the stupid stuff he does. And maybe that's why he is where he is today. One minute he mad at Floyd. Next minute he mad at Al Heyman. It's always everybody else's fault but A.B. And for everybody that said, 
Oh, well, she started it, so she got what she deserved. No, A.B. started it by calling Bill a pimp and saying the other stuff, and then she responded to him by calling him broke. Lastly, let's not forget, you know what? I ain't even going to bring up the stuff that we could bring up on A.B. because we know his, his history with the courts and all the allegations with sexual assault and all that. And I'm the type of person that actually stood up for A.B. in those situations because I'm tired of seeing men getting falsely accused of stuff. But A.B. is that dude when everybody run train on the chick. He didn't get none. So his response is to go down the hallway and tell everybody in the hallway at school on Monday or on campus uh, or wherever. He He's that dude. I'm out. It's, it's funny, but it's sad. But watch how y'all use that word simp. Y'all using it a little too loosely.